The Bitcoin dump has been continuing and right now for the first time in a long time Bitcoin is back in my buy region and I have just opened my first position of my new Bitcoin long position So on today's update video, I will talk about my new long trade I've just opened on Bitcoin what I'm planning to do if Bitcoin goes even lower My price targets on this next breakout we're most likely going to get and yes I will be exactly discussing about what I'm expecting to be happening next on Bitcoin because I have been saying this for quite a while that yes most likely Bitcoin was going to come down and to be very clear I think Bitcoin can even come lower so I will be discussing this on today's update video and many more important charts so without any further ado don't forget to slap that like button once again back up of 700 likes that will be highly appreciated and with that of being said let me jump straight away in towards the content and first of all I quickly want to say yesterday also we found out that CSET the formal founder of Binance has sentenced to four months in prison in the US. And that is of course a big shame for the industry. But of course we are just moving on from off that point. And that is maybe also one of the reasons why Bitcoin has been going down recently. But I have been saying it for quite a while right now here. I think Bitcoin is going to come back towards this region. And I have actually said many times before that I think that Bitcoin is going to go towards that lower side of the region before we're going to be seeing Bitcoin going up even further. So why have I been saying so? Because I think that Bitcoin is most likely going to take out all that liquidity that was laying right here in the market before we're going to be seeing that next push towards the upside. And if we're looking at that next pattern that Bitcoin is creating, the falling wedge pattern, which I've also talked about many, many times before, we're currently clearly creating a falling wedge pattern. And every single time we touch the resist line, we get rejected. And every single time we touch the support line, we get supported. And I do believe that this is, of course, the pattern to be watching right now here because this pattern is just being providing support and resistance for such a long time right now here that whenever we do break out of this pattern we're going to see a massive push towards the upside because the breakout target on the top side is from off this point where we're currently trading from and about 22 percent up higher than we're currently trading so yes the price targets are quite massive and that is why i am currently opening up new trades on bitcoin and right now this retracement is 19.97% here. So Bitcoin has basically seen a 20% correction yet so far. And I have said it so many times before, but in this bull market, I believe that 20 to 22 percent corrections are going to be the maximum corrections we're going to be seeing and this is a point where of course everyone is feeling panic everyone is afraid what is about to be happening next on bitcoin but just already like yesterday bitcoin is sitting around sixty one thousand dollars, and i said that most likely we are going to go down and we're going to be probably filling up my orders and yes so while i was asleep at yeah, last night we filled up my order but i've still got two more orders set up one at fifty nine thousand dollars and one at $58,000. So my order at $59,000 was not even close to get filled up, but I'm using a pyramid strategy is that first on the $60,000, I entered with $200,000, then on $59,000, I'm gonna be entering with $400,000, and at $58,000, I'm entering again with $400,000. That way I'm gonna be opening up a million dollar Bitcoin long position, and I will be doing so that if Bitcoin goes lower, I'm going to be entering more money. And that way it makes it less risky for me to be having this position open. So this is what I'm currently doing. The trade is currently still really right at its entry price. It's only like $200 in profit. But I do believe that I'm going to be catching this massive reversal. And once I do catch this massive reversal, I'm going to be making tons and tons of money from, of course, catching this trade on Bitcoin. And I've showed everyone out there on the channel what I was planning to do with this trade. And this is my first entry. And I think still that we could go a little bit lower and potentially fill up my second or third order. So hopefully we're going to be doing so because the lower Bitcoin is going to go, the more money is going to be giving me eventually. And yes, there is still some liquidity laying around $59,000, which I believe we could still take out here. So I think still there's a scenario where Bitcoin is going to take out the liquidity on the lower side and then push up straight away towards the top side because still the majority of liquidations uh, are being built up above us and especially $67,000 is a level where currently more than $2.5 billion uh, worth of Bitcoin short liquidations are laying. And yes, I really think that Bitcoin is just going to be following the liquidity and there's just not a lot of short liquidations below us and there are almost no long liquidations below us, but there are a ton of short liquidations laying above us. So Bitcoin always follows the liquidity. So for me, it makes a lot of sense that we are actually going to be seeing that push towards the upside since we have seen a 20% correction, since we're at the bottom of the falling wedge pattern and whenever the falling wedge pattern breaks out and we break the downward slope and resist line, 
sentiment is going to be changing and whenever we do break out of the region sentiment in the market is going to be changing in a very rapid pace so guys if you want to be trading yourself make sure to check out bybit in the link description of today's video because if you're right to go to this link in the description of the video you can currently claim a free 200 for only making a for only making an initial 100 deposit in your first seven days so if you're interested in that go to the link description of today's video bybit is the best exchange to trade your bitcoin and cryptocurrencies on and that is also the exchange where i am currently taking my trades on so if you want to be joining me with the exact same prices check out bybit in the link description of today's video going further in towards the content we can currently still see that yes even though we are having a side little retracement i don't believe that we're straight away in a bear market or in an all too bearish market because if i'm zooming out we're just seeing that we're creating a massive consolidation phase off to the rally towards the upside so all we're seeing still is very healthy healthy price action and honestly bitcoin is just creating a massive bull flag pattern and i don't believe that you should be getting fooled by this consolidation phase we're currently creating and we're just sitting at the lower side of the consolidation phase right now however we are currently seeing the macd on the weekly time frame creating a bearish crossover but the last time we did so i mean we create here a bearish crossover and then just two weeks later we pump towards the upside so it doesn't necessarily tell us all too much about what is really happening in the market it's only telling us something about that the market has been clearly showing down for the last seven to eight weeks here and that is, of course, because Bitcoin has been consolidating sideways for the last six to seven to eight weeks here in the market. So Bitcoin also on the weekly time frame, clearly on the top side, getting rejected every single time once we're seeing the top side getting retested. So this is also a level we need to be breaking above of. But I do believe that whenever we do break above this level, things are probably going to be moving extremely fast in the market. So I'm going to keep all my attention towards this level because we, whenever we do break above it, that is going to be probably the point where Bitcoin is going to be going quite exponential. And then here on Ethereum on the 12 hour time frame, we're clearly once again pushing up lower. On the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin pair, we're seeing ever so slight rejection, but I still do believe that really whenever the Ethereum ETF is going to get launched, most likely Ethereum is going to take some gains back here from Bitcoin, but currently still we're hanging on very critical support on Ethereum, and I do believe that we're most likely going to be seeing an ever so slight bounce from it. But just like I said with Bitcoin, I believe that there is a potential scenario where we're first going to be going still a little bit lower before we're going to be pushing up higher. But if we're already bouncing from off this point, I missed out on my other orders, but still I would take it with both hands because still I'm going to be making some money from the trade I'm taking here. So this was it for me in today's update video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to slap on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.